Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Enshrouded. Well, I said in the last episode we'd do some farming and that's what we're going to do. But there'll be a few more tips as well as we as we go along. Because I, I have done some playing in between episodes and uh, we're advancing. Let's have a look. Obviously I did a little bit of farming so I knew what I was talking about. But let's see what we need. So... First of all, we need to unlock the farmer, which we did in a previous episode, and and here she is. So if you come over to the farmer and you go into the crafting, you need farm soil. So farm soil takes dirt and bone meal. Dirt? Right, let's, uh, let's go outside. Now I've come outside of my area, but dirt uh, is everywhere. So if you just dig in the ground, you pick up humongous amounts of dirt. So that's where you can get dirt. Bone meal, on the other hand, gets crafted in the grinder. Okay, so your grinding stones, you put bones in here, and it spits out bone meal. So that's that. So we, we've got a bit of both, so we can make a little bit of this farm soil. Okay, that's it. So we, we've got farm soil now, so that, that's cool. What we need next is a seed bed. Seed bed takes wooden logs, metal scraps, and farm soil. So there's where you need the farm soil. So we can make one of those. And we can go and place them outside. Now I already have two. I want to put another two in. So there's one for now. I'll still figure out where the other one's going to go. Actually, maybe over here. All right. So we've got four. I don't know how many you need because you can do multiple recipes at a time. Uh, so for example, I wanted these bushes because I use my arrows quite a lot and I need that for that reason I need a lot of twigs. So these give twigs. Now the recipe to make these you will find in the seedbed table. And if you go into the recipes there are 14. Uh, shrub seeds just need plant fiber. So you get plant fiber, you chuck it in for every one plant fiber that you put in, you get five shrub seedlings. Okay, these are the seedlings. Let me take these out. And what we can do is go down over here. If we take these seedlings and we put them into our storage, now they, they you can you can fiddle and plant them however you like. I find it quite easy to put to press X, put the snapping on. And that way it tells you if you are too close or too far away. Now, right now, because these are grown, they're not actually showing properly. But what, I'll just put another row over here. Whoops. And if I make a mistake, I can press E to repot. I want it there. Couple over, couple over, couple over. And like that. Okay. So that's the seedlings for the shrubs. Over here, I've planted a whole lot of flax. And the reason I planted flax is because, well, we need flax to make cotton. And in between episodes, I did get the... Uh, the hand spindle, sorry, linen, not cotton, and that takes flax. So two flax for one linen. Cool. So this hand spindle, uh, this smelter, and what else was there? And the table saw. Now those you actually need parts for. So like for the table saw, there's a quest that you get given by your carpenter to go out and and find the circular saw blades now at this stage you can't make them yourself so you have to go out and find one on the quest uh, the same is true for the for the forge or for this uh smelter you have to go out and you have to find the crucible now you don't have to, you you are going to come up against some heavy resistance going out to find these things so bear that in mind, but it is possible to do drive-bys. In other words, run through, grab what you want, and run out without being taken out. It does take a moment for the, the NPC enemies to respond. So let's have a look at some of the other recipes. So I've got tomato seedlings, which I think I want to plant. I'm going to put the shrub seedlings back. Now, you must always make sure, because... The flax and stuff that you're using to make, this, make the seedlings, you actually find out in the in the environment. So flax and that kind of thing, I think you find out in the Revelwood area 
Uh, there, there are various places to find it, and I certainly don't have all the recipes. There are there are many recipes out there. I've got 14, and this is what they are. So you've got your shrubs. Shrubs uh, give you plant fiber and twigs. They, they need plant fiber. Mushrooms, you need bone meal and red mushrooms in order to make the mushroom seedlings. Tomato seedlings, water and tomato. Strawberry, water, farm soil. Strawberry, it's it's they, they get quite expensive. There's beets, palm soil and forest beet, berry bush, obviously for berries. Uh, these are zero. I don't actually know what they are used for uh, just yet, but I think it might have something to do with magic. There's corn, there's flax, there's the the various flowers that you can make teas and whatnot. Um, and then there's the, the trees where, that you can get wood from. So quite a lot of good stuff if you're looking for water at the starting position i don't have the ability to make a well um but i assume that must come along at some point but at the starting location the long keep remember we started up uh somewhere up here over there there is this and you can come along and scoop every couple of hours it just sort of replenishes and I think you get between like 10 and 15 at a time. So it depends on how it's treating you. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the water. Now in order to plant in the ground, you will also need farm soil. So let's have a look at what we got. I got my farm soil over here. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it into a slot. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go in and get my construction hammer. Now that I have my construction hammer, I can press tab. I have farm soil on me. Then I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to go to Terrain. And then in here, I just select the one that I want. And I think that size is good. With Control on the side, decide what you're putting down. In this case, I'm putting down Farm Soil. Apparently, there is a better soil than that at some point. Don't have that yet. So, yeah, we work with the Farm Soil. So, we will put our Farm Soil down. and it is as easy as that okay now i'm going to unequip by pressing tab and go and put my tomato seedlings back in place and i'm going to start planting some tomatoes and i've got snapping on so you can see it snaps from one spot to the next if i click there the next spot it won't allow me but there it will so that's what i'll do there's a row and can i get another one in oh i can and just carry on planting and there you go now over the next day or so those will grow up and we'll have some more goodies now i have other stuff in my farm okay this one now just has flax make sure that when you harvest you replace before you use uh, otherwise you have to or otherwise you'll run out and you'll need to go and find more in the wilds so let's see what do we need I do want to put in some strawberries. So let's have a look at strawberry seeds. These are quite expensive. So strawberries, water, and farm soil. Let's go and sort that out. Okay, I got the stuff. So uh, where was I? Go I was going in here. And we're going to browse recipes. Go to strawberries. Select. Okay. So... We have 18 strawberries, that's what I've managed to collect in the wild, uh, which means that we're going to make 18 times 5, because for one every one strawberry you get 5 seedlings. Now, I don't really want that much. 9 fives, 45, that's okay, but 90, do I need 90 seedlings? Probably not, but then I also don't really have a need for them right now, so what the heck, Let's let's just go for it. Uh, we'll put some water in. I've got my drinking water on me, but I have some extra water that I've farmed. And there we go. Now, that's going to take quite a long time. That's like three hours to make to get through all of these resources. So that's pretty, that's that's real time. So yeah, that, that's quite a lot. So well, let's go see what else we can do. So uh, chamomile I've heard is pretty good, and I don't have a lot of chamomile. So water and chamomile, okay. This means we need to just head back over here. And 
I just want to right click and then split the stack and then grab half of it out. We'll go and get the chamomile out of our box. Yeah, I thought I was losing my mind. I couldn't find the chamomile, but I'd already planted it. So no, that one's done. Let's select a different recipe. Okay, uh, let's do some corn. Water and corn cob. Okay, I can do that. There's water. I'll go and grab the corn cob. Okay, so once again, one corn cob. Okay, so it uses three water. So this will produce a maximum of eight. That's 160 corn. So I don't really need that much. So I'm going to split this stack again. We'll leave 12 in there. So it does four, which is 80 corn seedlings. That means we only need four corn cobs. Split a stack and then split a stack again. And then we'll just chuck that in. So that should give us 80 corn seedlings. Now, each run takes 15 minutes. Total queue is about an hour. It doesn't mean we can't do anything because in 15 minutes we will be able to plant. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's pretty much how farming happens. I do have space available to do something else over here. So I might just queue up another recipe. I'm not sure what these are, but I think I might make some. They use shroud liquid. Azure, Rasula, and fossilized bone dust. Okay, we can't do that because we don't have fossilized bone dust as yet. Okay, so we will leave that out and maybe have a look at the indigo. Indigo needs farm soil, water, and indigo plant. I think I can manage that. So we'll throw the indigo in. Now, one indigo. Oh, yeah. That's going to be too much. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's just split that because we will get 25 out throw some water in we'll throw some farm soil oh, we don't need that much we just don't even need that much but that's fine okay so now we've got indigo seedlings on the go as well and i've got space for something else and i think uh, we'll do some mushrooms bone meal and red mushroom red mushroom and throw in some bone meal and there we go so we, we've got quite a lot of different seedlings already. And I think I'm going to just go and start planting them. Right, folks, I have uh, basically planted everything that I could, uh, with the exception of the two big trees. Of the 14 recipes I have available, I can only do 13. Two of them are trees which I haven't planted. But uh, just to let you know, you can plant your seedlings anywhere you want. You can plant them on no normal soil. It just takes quite a lot longer to grow, which means that uh, it is better to plant it in the farming soil. But yeah, uh, you can use the bushes and trees as decorative items if you like. Uh, these are not trees I planted, these were here. But if I took them down because they're within the protected area, they would not grow back. So that's just something to note. I've also put myself a little container over here for all the seedlings and I've I've built up a little bit of a stockpile. Seems like they do stack to a hundred. And I've kind of got them all here and including some of the trees that I've stockpiled. But the nice thing is you can just put these trays out and you can let them go. If you have a look at the recipes, you will see that there are similarities. This one takes plant fiber, it's pretty unique. This one uses bone meal, tomato uses water, strawberry uses water and farm soil, beet, farm soil, uh, farm soil and water. So the berry bush and whoop, berry bush and strawberries use the same recipe. So you could basically put those two in the same tray together. Uh, indigo also uses water and farm soil, so that could go in a, into one of the grow beds. So yeah. Um, you can split them up, but also, you know, with the magic boxes, you could probably put all the stuff that you need for, for growing any of these things in and just set a recipe and let it run. But yeah, there are a couple of other important things that you should know about. Uh, the, the rake is quite an important tool. Um, I don't want to flatten anything right here, but the rake basically just flattens soil for you. So uh, if I was to come over here with my rake, and I say, all right, so I want to flatten all of this to this level. It needs to be within the building area. Okay, so I have to do it within the building area. So I could come through over here and go, all right, well, let's flatten this.
There we go. Now that spot is flat. And then you could put your farm beds on top of it. And you could grow your stuff. I did flatten an area out over here. So that I could sort of carry on my pathway. And when I get some more stone at some point. I'll continue the pathway around the house. Just to kind of finish things off a little bit. Uh, I found this. It's... Um, I don't remember what stone that is. It's a rough cut stone. Yeah, roughly cut stone block. It looks very nice. Compared to this stone that we have here, this looks pretty, pretty slick indeed. So yeah, I just put down a bit of floor, a bit of wall, and I just wanted to see how the openings work and all of that. And I have to say, I am I'm pretty impressed. And this with the new windows that come with your carpenter, uh, you have to find hardwood, I think. Um, windows over here. So ornamental windows, there are a couple of different ones. So this one just uses normal wood. This one uses wood planks. Okay, so you're not using hardwood. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that there'll be others as well. You'll also notice that I got my rested bonus up to 32. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the previous episode. I don't think I did. I've upgraded my armor. Because I got access to the kiln, or the, the smelter. So I was able to make copper bars from the copper that I farmed out in the in the outside. And then I came over to this good fellow, and I made myself the copper axe. That's that one. Uh, the copper pick. The scrappy rake, which is a new one. It's an upgrade on, on the one that you make in your workbench. And of course, if you remember lockpicks, I carry a few of them with me now, but uh, they only use, at the blacksmith, one metal scrap. Whereas, if you were to make it yourself, under the crafting menu, that lockpick takes two metal scraps. So, yeah, probably a better idea. Metal scraps are, are not the easiest thing to find in the game, although eventually you do land up with quite a lot of them. But you do want to conserve them, especially at the beginning. So rather use the blacksmith to make your lockpicks and it costs you half the price uh, as i was talking about the the rested bonus i've got furniture in here there's some books there's a a head a stuffed head there's a mug uh, i think those are ornamental they don't really give much benefit the things that give benefit the mat table chairs i've made a few other little ornamental things and we go upstairs i've got a really nice bed it uses hardwood oh, I was, as i was saying hardwood uh, you will find near the revelwood spire very very large green trees with vines growing on them that's where you get the hardwood from i put some more illumination in here i've got some toilet things going got my toilet my bath my basin so yeah these things all add up to give you a rested bonus and uh, i think you could probably push it a bit higher there will be other stuff coming later in the in the gameplay in the playthrough which will be higher tier than what i'm currently using which will give a better comfort score my comfort level is currently 27 which gives me a rested bonus of 32 and for every one it appears that it increases it by one minute so you want that as big as possible if you're out exploring in the world and you don't want to have to come back to your base all the time well that's a good thing to have now the reason we're farming uh and just to to close this episode off there's a reason we're farming all of these foods that we are getting are going to be very important obviously these shrubs are for or, or twigs trees are for wood uh wood twigs and resin i assume from the bigger trees but the other items here will be cooked. And this lady here, the farmer, is the one you'll take them to to create. For example, corn cob and honey gives you a plus seven stamina recharge for five minutes. Now, there will be obviously more uh, recipes coming, but a vegetable puree that takes beets, water, and salt gives you plus three dexterity for 35 minutes. Endurance. Chamomile tea, plus five health regen, and plus two endurance for 35 minutes. These are big boosts, and these are not even the good recipes. So, 
there will be other recipes to come uh and it's one of the quests that i, I have to go and find her a cooking station or something give me a second uh the fireplace yeah i have to go and find a kettle at some point and uh not sure where to get that from yet but if you do feel like you are getting stuck and you're not getting any quests and the quests that you've done are done and you don't know where to go to get the next things try this craft everything that comes in even if it's just a little bit for example um i didn't know where goo would come from now in this upgrade you need goo and i had no idea where goo would come from and i was getting nowhere with it now, obviously it's a it's a little way away before i make good use of goo but i had to come to this guy and make you, you'll see in goo you have to have bug dust i had to make at least one bug dust before the recipe for goo became available so i'm pretty sure there's a lot more stuff like that going on and maybe uh, you'll get an indication from the little exclamation mark next to something so i'm pretty sure that if i unlock or if i make one of these spiritual canes it will unlock something else maybe another quest maybe something else to build so lots of little things that you need to keep an eye out for uh, i think i have i've uh, got grappling hook pull anchor oh you can put your own grappling hook anchors up as well i don't even know where those come in but we've got now fences oh these are nice nice copper fence that i can put around my my garden or on my patios but yeah pretty expensive copper bars so yeah that's uh that is where i'm gonna leave it i think that was as much information as i could give right now i'm gonna keep on pushing through the map see where we go next um try and pick up some more of the technologies that my people my, my npcs need if you like this video give us a like if you'd like to see more subscribe hit the bell icon for notifications share it really really helps uh, any interaction liking commenting sharing definitely helps the channel out and i really appreciate all the support so thank you for joining me and until next time cheers